system available. This is a uh, quick presentation on the installation of the Permavoid system for uh, the City of LA LID planters. Uh, your pallets are shipped out, your Permavoid is shipped out on pallets. There are eight panels per pallet and there are nine units per panel for a total of 72 units. They come stacked up and wrapped in, uh, in this urethane wrap. So all you need to do is cut this open and the panels will lay out about basically the same size as a sheet of plywood, uh, four by eight. Two men can handle it very easily, they just fall off, uh, and you can just take it over and work on them uh, in the area that you want. And so they're designated by what type of uh, unit it is. This says PV-150, so that's our PV-150 unit, and it's the basic unit. So, uh, but uh, this is what you'll get. You just offload it, stack it, and uh, pull the panels off, and then you can start your configuration for the uh, planters. All right, now we have a panel out from the pallets, and as you can see, it's about the size of a sheet of plywood, roughly uh, four by eight feet. Uh, now we have to set it up to put in the planter and set up for the wicking cones to go in so they wick the water up uh, inside the permavoid unit and up into the soil. So the way we want to do that, we want to go in a diagonal uh, configuration for the wicking cones. But first, we need to remove these tie connectors. Now, when they come from the plant, there is a tie connector on each side. There's two tie connectors per location here. But since we, since they're in shipment, sometimes they get stuck, so a little WD-40 needle nose pliers, you just reach up and you can pull that out. And then we use a, about a half inch to three quarter inch dowel, and you can go right in here with a rubber mallet and knock it out the other side. So we've done this one. Now we want to move over to this one. So you see we go from here to here. And again, pull this out. And I take my rubber mallet. And you can see there's... So, and then I would move from here down over to here. insert these tie connectors to tie them together, but you'll only need one underneath soil. So as we go from here, we would then, as, as we move from this one over here, we would put it in this location here so that we still continue that diagonal with the next panel. And this rubber mallet comes in handy also with tapping those down just to make it uh, a clean uh, connection. So that's the way you want to set this up and then put it in the planner. Okay, now we'll move over to setting this up in the planner. We're going to set the permavoid system into the planner. And the preparation for the planner is you can put a settling stone in or uh, sand just to settle it, make it even. Uh, and then in the wicking process, and this is very important for the whole process uh, for the LID reuse, capture and reuse, or capture use by filtration. The wicking fabric is set in, it's cut to the dimensions of either a single panel of 150, or if we're going to do a double, a double panel, and I'll show you how that installs. So the insulation is, you can look at a panel here, one unit, a permavoid is flat kind of on one side and on the other side it has a hollow a half circle in there. The half circle goes down uh, on the single layer. If it's a double layer, you flip it up and then the top layer will go down so it makes a full circle and then you reverse it. And so on the single layer, the 
go with this first right now. This is, we've already removed some of the uh, tie connectors in order to install the wicking cones. The wicking cones, uh, and I recommend using gloves, obviously, in all of this. These, uh, these are a rock mineral that's been crushed and pressed back together. They're kind of like some fiberglass, so you don't want to get it in your eyes. Uh, goggles are uh, a good idea. So, but I would take these, and where we have removed the tie connectors, you can see they press in all the way. Now this is uh, very important that they go down all the way and touch the wicking fabric. So the, uh, the very next one would be over here. And I'll, I'll leave these up just to show, but they need to be pressed all the way down. So you can see we're going to start in our diagonal. The next one would go over here and then over there and over there. So this is the way you would assemble this. Now, this is a panel, they come up here. So let's say that your planter is wider, but it's not as wide as three units across the panel. You need to put one more unit in there. So you would lay these in next to each other. And again, following the diagram here, this was going out like this. So this would have tie connector going in and the tie connectors are tapered so the tapered end goes down into the center so you put that in you would hammer it in and then another wicking cone would go there and you would build this all the way down so that's the way that you would uh, continue on with the planter if there is extra space from the sides of the planter then crushed rock Wash rock can be used to fill in. It's got to be larger than these holes here, and you can fill that in for angles and curves. So then, when you're done with everything and your units are in, also the piping that's required for the overflows and the uh, the outfall, you can drill through permavoid. Just go in between the cylinders, and you can insert the pipe down in through there into the uh, outlet connectors, into the top of the saw, based on the dimensions. If we're going to add a top unit, again, this would be, as I mentioned, you'd lay this top unit on, but this would be upside down again, showing this half circle, but you would lay this on top, there, and <coughs> these are shear pins. So in a panel, we want, just because it's soil, there's no load or weight on it, we want three per panel. So you could put one here. Uh, you could put one here. And you could put one down here. You don't want to put them in the holes. Uh, obviously, where other things are. But this, these fit right over top very nicely into the into the slots and that just keeps it from moving if we were underneath pavement or traffic or parking lots we would put two per, per two per panel uh, and that's because of the load so this is the configuration the next thing we want to do we'll remove this is that when you're done you have your wicking cones in, everything's done. Then we want to wrap this, so we would... Uh so now you're wrapped and you're ready to put your soil on. You have your piping through and you fill it up whatever the soil requirement is. Uh, 6, 12, uh, 18, 24, uh, your soil depth, ponding depth, and this is ready to go. You put the soil on top. You can charge the system with water, fill it up, and I would uh, recommend obviously uh, filling the soil uh, with water, getting that 
getting it down and getting it on the surface to get it working in the wicking process. So that's the basics of taking permavoid, setting it into the planter, and utilizing the tie connectors, the shear pins, and the wicking cones. So uh, that kind of ends this uh, demonstration. Uh, any questions, uh, please contact the Triumph uh, Geosynthetics. Uh, they have supply all of this to the, uh, to the contractors and to the site. Uh, thank you for your uh, attention.